welcome to New Jersey. We are almost there. Yes, we are just about to drive down to Annapolis for the boat show. It's been a long time coming. It's getting very exciting. But actually, the last couple of weeks have been pretty exciting as well. Yep, we've spent them in Montenegro where we are going to be wintering with Fair Isle. It's an amazing place. I hope you enjoy the film. Coming up, welcome to Porto Montenegro, sea, sun and parties testing the underwater drone in very cold water and climbing to the top. I can never get enough of this view. After a summer at anchor sailing from Turkey, Feral is finally settling in to her winter berth in Porto Montenegro. Well, it's a really gorgeous morning this morning. And as we haven't been in a marina for months, the first thing I'm gonna do is take a shower and wash my hair. The bathrooms are always a test of a good marina. For me, they have to be clean and I prefer spacious. They're mixed blocks here, so you've got a family room, which is a bit bigger area for the shower. This is the ladies. There are lots of blocks. There are two showers in each of them. This is the nearest one to us. Looks like I've got the place to myself. Great. And afterwards, a look around. We fell in love with this place last summer, which is why we've come back. Even in winter, the place is rocking, literally. This is a party at the Blue Room a yacht club for crews and berth holders. I think we're going to like it here. Okay, so there aren't parties every night, but this is a community used to hosting winter activities for yachties. And as you can see, they are very welcoming. Well, we're making the most of the last bits of sunshine <laughs> of the year to, to come out and be at anchor, because it's just such a beautiful place, isn't it, to be out at anchor? I mean, look at this, this is where we are. It is absolutely lovely, but it is chilly. The water here, I won't even put my hand in because it gets, <laughs> it gets the uh, cold water from the mountains into the sea and it is about 13 degrees, I think, 12 or 13 yeah. degrees. Not about to jump in that in a hurry. It is lovely, but we're just coming across the bay to this. You might not be able to tell from here, but that's actually an island with this church, or another little island out there. And uh, a town behind, what's the town here? The town is called Parast, but this is the Lady of the Rock, this particular island here, and we'll go and have a look at that, shall we? Yeah, it looks like there's been a few tourist boats out here. There's quite a few people on there. Yeah, it looks lovely. Not many people come here by dinghy, but it is popular, so we're not alone as we look around. So in the winter, we're trying to look at the depths around here. There's a lot of little boats, little motor boats, and the tourist boats that come across. We want to see if we can get Fair Isle here, really, because it'd, be, <laughs> it'd be nice without the tourists, isn't it? And they've got the big tourist boats here, but it's not really that deep there either. Well, you all have a picnic in January, do you? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'll be nice. <laughs> Round the other side, I think there might be a place. Let's have a look. Our Lady of the Rock is an artificial island created by the sinking of old ships laden with rocks. Every year, the local residents throw more rocks into the sea and the island has gradually expanded. Yeah, we definitely can't anchor, but we could bring Fair Isle in because um, who reckons it's three metres underneath? That's enough. The tradition of rock throwing began in the 15th century after, according to legend, an icon of the Madonna was found in the sea. Local sailors believed she would give them good luck if they agreed to build a church on the spot. There's now a museum displaying evidence of successful voyages and battles won over the centuries. So that's the Lady of the Rock, but there's another island, this one, with another church on and a graveyard. I'm not sure if you're allowed on this one. No, we'll just have to go round it and have a look. 
But it's amazing how many little islands are just popping up in the middle <laughs> of this of the sea. <laughs> yes. I love these tiny little small boat harbours they have. Rowing boat harbour. <laughs> <laughs> a very oh yeah, a very small boat that one. <laughs> yeah, we all have them, the other little islands have them as well. Quite a long way to row actually. Yeah. Now, this definitely does remind me of Venice. You're visiting the sites by, by dinghy. Yeah. <laughs> It's lovely, isn't it? It's just perfect. So we all know about how beautiful Couture is, but this looks like it's going to rival it and less tourists. It's a little bit smaller, isn't it, than Couture, but so pretty. There's a bell tower up there. Parast owes its wealth of architecture to the Venetians, and it does have an Italian feel. The main hotel and the local restaurants make it the perfect place to stop for lunch. This is the end of the season and there aren't many people here, but the food is excellent and we get a table right on the seafront. Hey Pussycat. Pussycat's waiting but it's not going to get any of my octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it would want any salad. <laughs> Sorry. Now I did tease you in the last episode by showing you a quick shot of this that was on charge and it's a, uh, a drone submarine. I'll chuck it in, give you a quick look at it now. I will do a whole test review video on this but uh, I just want to show you a little bit about what it can do. I mean, first thing you can see on the screen here, I'll put it in the water, so you see there the temperature is 9 degrees. That's all the fresh water that's come down off the, off the mountains here. You can look at pictures from the camera or from the sonar. This is a separate unit which clips onto the bottom of the drone or you can just use it separately. It has a fish finder function but actually it's easy enough to see the fish on the camera here. There's lots of fish, I don't know what they are, they might be trout even but they're, I mean they're, you can't really get close to them, they try and whiz away but I'm going to see with this if I can, uh, I can sort of sneak it in close and get the odd shot. I have tried further up the stream which is sort of where they all are but there's thin bits of weed that come up from that and that is one of the, uh, the problems that I found with this is that if you're going somewhere where there's a lot of thin strandy weed it gets sucked into the, uh, the impellers so that's not good for it so I'll come a little bit further down and I'll, I'll just see if I can find the odd fish here. The fish didn't seem to be scared of the drone, quite surprising really as I couldn't get anywhere near them in the dinghy. It was quite shallow and I did find it difficult following them though. I'm going to need a little bit more practice with the steering. So there you go, got a few shots, they're quite elusive these fish, but uh, I think I've got a couple there, I'll have to have a look on the big screen when I get back, see exactly what i got, but it's quite manoeuvrable, quite fast, uh, gets it kicked around a little bit by the swell, which is uh, really sort of rushing in now, but it can cope with it, just the weed that it can't suck up, but yeah, as I say, I'm going to do a full review video of this, it's the uh, Power Vision Power Array, um, yeah, quite impressed with it really. We've come to Montenegro for the winter, but we also have family coming out in a few days. So in preparation, we're moving Feral a few miles through Kotor Bay to the other end of the inland sea where we will be staying. We also have an appointment with Precision Sales, who are making our new foresail, which was completely destroyed a few weeks ago. We measured up in Greece. And now we're ready for a consultation with the sailmaker, Jeremy Rosman. Now we talked about the shaping. I'll be changing this a little bit. So like you noted in your video that it wasn't just a straight line down the leach. We'll also have a 2% uh, curve, so about uh, 272 mil um, that it bends in at its max point. And then same thing, the luff actually has a bit of a luff hollow as well so that uh, the sails getting forced into that foil it creates a really nice flat entrance. We'll have more on that in a separate interview but for now 
It's time for sightseeing with family and friends. First stop, Kator, and the medieval castle overlooking the town. We chose to climb the back way, on a track that leads to a wooden ladder, which takes you into the ramparts. I made it. Woo. There's the view. We made this climb for the first time last summer, but I never tire of this magnificent view. It's quite an incredible cruise liner. I'd love to see it with all the sails up. Amazing sights, ancient cities and good food. We also get some autumn rain, but luckily the villa we're staying at has a pool, which is relatively warm. Oh <laughs> Ready? <Good one. laughs> and there's a fire pit, which makes the perfect setting for Montenegrin wine tasting. And take your seconds to scarf. Yeah. Well, we're not allowed to discuss, are we? <laughs> you, can discuss, discuss you, just, it. you can discuss, you just can't say your final verdict. Four wines, blind tasting, and a fair degree of consensus. It's very nice. This is, much it is, actually, this is actually really nice. nice. I do like this. How it's done in Venice, you want granada to be in that? Yeah, that's what, <laughs> the pool also turned out to be a good place to test the drone, and yes, it can be driven by a three year old. I can drive it. You can drive it. We want it to make it go up, and we press this. But the real star of the show is Fair Isle, and everyone wants to go sailing. After six months at sea, we need some fuel. Looks like we'll get done quite quickly. Yeah, it's good, very efficient here. They're used to filling up uh, big super yachts and stuff, so it's good fuel, good price, and you know it's going to be you know, clean as well. I don't even bother using the, uh, the, the funnel with the, the filter in it here, because they use so much of it, it's not going to be contaminated anyway, so always good. Excellent. Thank you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> Line, yep, and you'll take us all the way to Couture. Very good. A slow jibe through the gap in the bay takes us exploring. Are your sails set? Yes! Yeah. It really doesn't matter where we go, the crew is just here for the ride. But Auntie Millie wants to go to South Pole. South Pole? No. <laughs> A future journey, perhaps. 
And if you're wondering how we fit our extended family on the boat, well, we don't. We always hire a, a villa, an Airbnb, because that's that seems to be the best way to do it. We couldn't do it during COVID, but we had everyone here. So this is six bedrooms. Um, it's it's great. It's just around the corner from uh, where the, the marina is. But it was Judy's birthday when we were here, so it's nice to have everyone, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say how old I was, but we had. <laughs> Uh, age ranges from granny who is 84 to the youngest grandchild who's 11 months so we had to have something for everyone so yeah. we had a pool which has been lovely because even on the non-sunny days it's still really warm here sort of end of september early october yeah. so we were swimming in the evenings and the other thing which is really lovely is that we can park fair isle just it's just there. around the corner just there and that's good because i mean it's just so sheltered in here isn't it so you know a lot of places if you hide a, a villa and thought oh you want to bring the boat in and have that close as well because we've been using the boat we've been going yeah. out you know whenever the the weather was good enough to do it uh, it's nice to have it close and uh, and here of course it doesn't matter we had wind from all directions it's it's completely sheltered in this boat from here it's a short motor back to the marina where we'll leave feral for the next few weeks while we prepare for our trip to America. Well, it's five in the morning. It is a little bit chilly. We are leaving Porto Montenegro to go to Annapolis, catching a flight. Yeah, it's gonna be even more chilly there, I think. But that's okay, because we're gonna buy lots of uh, warm sailing clothes. So that'll be good. I think we've got everything locked up. It's always a bit sort of tetchy, leaving the boat. Have I done everything? Closed all the seacocks. Turned everything off. I think we have. We don't leave our boat very often. Don't like leaving her. <laughs> <laughs> right. And this is the journey. A taxi to the airport in Montenegro to Istanbul in Turkey for a connecting flight with a six hour stopover. We then fly across the pond to Newark and down to Annapolis, a total of 5,789 miles, few. Yes, it's a long way to come, but we haven't been to a boat show for, I don't know, years, and we've never been to Annapolis, and it is massive. Yeah, it's, uh, they very cleverly uh, do it with a motorboat show the week before the sailboat show. So I think it's mm. the biggest in the world for boats in the water, because they just take all the motorboats out and put the, the sailboats in, they don't have to mix them up. So yeah, it's going to be good to look around some boats, yep. uh, look, look at you know the different vendors that are there. We've got to change our standing rigging on Fair Isle, yeah. so we'll be looking into that. In fact, we've got a, a, some exciting stuff coming up with that. We've uh, we found a really good rigger who's going to do some some work with mm -hmm. us and um, we'll be following all that precision sounds they're going to be there so we can uh, do some interviews with them so we're trying to get a lot of technical things done within we will. this we'll also be looking around some boats not because we want a new boat <laughs> but <laughs> no. because we we actually like looking around boats so we'll be doing that as well and we have some t-shirts made oh yeah Cute yeah, this is what, it's what, it's what we're wearing. But <laughs> the back of it, if you are a patron, um, you and you come to the boat show, we will be giving you one of one of these. We'll have them uh, for sale there as well. Um, so you can uh, pop along. I mean, come pop along and see us anyway. We're in the the YouTube tent. We put, we put the times yeah, out there. There are seventy YouTube <laughs> YouTube channels coming to Annapolis. So there's a tent where you can all come and meet everybody. So actually, it's worth it if you're into YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just before the vagabond, I think, at one stage. So I think we might get swamped yeah people, people who come to see them might sort of accidentally <laughs> see us as well anyway <laughs> and we're up for an award as well uh, the young cruisers award do you believe it so we are actually young we are, we are. We, it's we're, official we're young cruisers <laughs> mm. but talking of young people it's lovely to have your family out and in fact a lot mm. of people have asked us what's the thing we miss most about cruising and it's definitely your family that's the thing that you miss most yeah. everything else is everything else is fine yeah. so if they can get to you it's great and we will be coming up here at some point, won't we? Ch Chesapeake Bay. Yes, yeah, we want to sail here at some, some stage, so we will be uh, not just checking out the boat show, but checking out the anchorages, seeing where we can bring yeah. Fair Isle. I mean, if, for all, from mm. what we've heard from everyone and from what we've seen around here, it's a fabulous area, really beautiful. It's been beautiful weather while we're yeah, here as well, really autumnal. Good. So yeah, could do with some of this. I mean, you know, Montenegro to here, both fantastic places. We, <laughs> we've lucked in this, this week. Yeah, we have. We've had a very, very good <laughs> October so far. Mm. So thank you to our patrons. Do come and see us. We've got a meet up on Friday. Mm -hmm. Thank you to our subscribers and thank you for watching. And the next episode will be about the boat show. Next few, I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching.